What's up guys, what's going on? Tony Tone back again for another food review. So today I'm gonna be doing a, another small burger. It's not quite a slider, but it's not quite a normal burger. This is the Steak and Shake Double Steak Burger with Cheese. And this is from the freezer aisle. So, and I haven't had Steak and Shake in a good close to 10 years, but this is not what I remember it looking like or smelling like. <laughs> but, you know, let's give it a try and see how it is. And this is just literally meat and cheese. There's no bacon, there's no sauce. So, let's, you know, let's give it a try, see how it is. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I really like this bun. It's very soft. It's nice and nice and fluffy. And and the uh, the cheese is definitely cooked, melty, just like I like it. Now the meat. There's no seasoning on this whatsoever. But I actually do like the way that the meat goes with the cheese and the bread. It's very unique. It's not like any burger I've ever had. It's not like I did the uh, Sam's Choice ones and I eat those all the time. It's So it's not like one of those things where I review it and then I never eat it again. That's one of the actual products that I actually eat on a pretty consistent basis. But this, it has a similar bun to the, uh, the Friday's sliders that I did. You can check out that review. I'll either put it in a card or in the uh, description or something but uh, the the meat itself it doesn't have loads of pepper or anything in it which I'm not a huge fan of like over seasoning things by any means and so this is it's a decent burger now does it taste like steak and shake not what I remember like I know I haven't had it in a good long time but this is not how I remember it being, I don't remember it being like this. I remember it being small, thin patties with the edges all crispy. But I know you're not going to get that from a freezer aisle. But uh, let me give this one more bite and I'll give you a rating. Okay. I think I got it. So for the uh, steak and shake double steak burger with cheese I'm gonna give it I'll give it two ratings okay to be fair I'll give it two ratings on flavor and taste I'll give it a three and a half because I do like the way it tastes I I do like the flavor of the meat mixed with the cheese and everything but as a steak and shake product I'm going to have to give it like a, a one because this does not taste like steak and shake. You you don't get that steak and shake experience when you eat this burger. I mean, you don't get the crispy edges and the th real thin patties. These are like, these are like McDonald's size patties and steak and shake is thinner and the edges get crispy and it's like you press it down on the grill and this, you just don't get that. So... For what it is, it's good. But to me, it just does not live up to the Steak and Shake name. And I'm sorry, you know, it's just my opinion. It's good. I definitely recommend go out, going out and giving it a try. But if you're expecting, you know, that Steak and Shake experience, just go to Steak and Shake because you ain't going to get it from this. But uh, there you go, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried the freezer section steak and shake burgers you know let me know what you guys think in the comments below i love hearing from you guys uh let me know what i should review because after all you know i i take all all suggestions and i do get around to them eventually it might take me a while but i do get to every suggestion that someone leaves me and um i will see you guys in the next review peace